Hello everyone. Very good morning. My name is Ravi. Today we are going to discuss about on Azure Data Factory question and answer series. Uh, today's topic will be how we can merge multiple CSV file into single CSV file on blob location. So this is quite simple question and you probably know the answers but uh, I feel you can have efficient uh, way to implement and answer it very on a technical perspective. So you can convince you know better uh, ADF uh, implementation. So uh, today I thought to create a video on that. And this question being asked uh, on uh, Delight. Uh, this is a very good MNC form where this kind of question will appear on Azure Data Factory site. So uh, if you're new to the channel, please hit the bell icon and watch this video till end. Uh, I am covering uh, three important sector where I covering the interview question answer for Azure Data Factory means Azure Data Engineer site and uh, Power BI and SQL Server. So if you subscribe my channel, you will get the benefit of inter being asked question, real time scenario and real time implementation or way of speaking, how you can elaborate your self or explain yourself about those technologies. So if, if you new the channel, please hit the bell icon and if you're preparing the interview for these sectors, you can watch my playlist. You will get better understanding how to represent yourself. So let me, uh, discuss more about the question we I am trying to answer it so question is you have a blob location and you have multiple files on same format okay this is the main concept I'm discussing about so there are many chances you will have different schema might be you have employee detail of US where we have a 10 columns or different data types and you have a Dubai uh, location where we have a four column and same way you have India so for that uh, you have to use a data flow where you can you know make a comma column formatted and you have to limit your column being used for merging right because if you know the merging is just like a union uh, right you have a same set of column and same set of data types on that time it will work same way merge will work it will append your data uh, based on your uh, columns so uh, this can be done suppose you have different uh, schemas then you have to use uh, data flows in the ADF so I'm not going on that sector you can try to implement it if you have different schema but today what we are going to discuss about you have a same set of schema on the same blob location and there are multiple files you have to merge it so let's take a quiet real-time example you have a company called delight there it, it operation on it operational on multiple location like Dubai US UK India on multiple countries and I want to consolidate the seat okay so which approach you will take so let me uh, go through the blob location where I can show you the data what data I have so I hope you understand the question right so uh, if you don't just hit the bell icon and if you know the better approach uh, apart from this you can uh, explain that approach onto comment I'll try to create a different video uh, on the same question so that would be your benefit means you know many many answer uh, for that so let me open the container and show you the uh, folders we have so I have input folder okay so you can see in the okay I went came to a different location let me go back okay so where I have I have much file okay in much file I have three CSV file one is from India, one is for uh, uh, Dubai, one is for USA. Okay, so let me give you the structure of my data so you probably understand what I'm trying to say here. Okay, so now you can see preview the data. So I have ID 101 here in this table, it means this is for Dubai, probably, right? You can see this Dubai. I have four column, uh, five column here. So this is data structure. So what I want, I want to combine the data, that's it, I wanted okay so same way let me open another file and i will not open all the file let me open the usa file so i have uh you can say i have one one seven here so approximately i have each each page i each report uh each file i have 10 file 10 rows so you will get idea about uh our in consolidated report i uh, what we get we get a 31 rows or 30 rows okay so this is my uh, file location and what is my output where I want to output I have output folder so uh, let me delete this one because I wanted to give the answer for that 
so in this folder i wanted to dump my consolidated consolidated file my single file will be uh, there let me come back to adf file let me open the location new pipeline i will create and i will give a, a user friendly name uh, merge file file in one okay in one this is my uh, my pipeline name so here what what we can do i will use simple copy activity okay so please remember i am just merging the data okay i am not doing any transfer because my schema is same in that case if you have different schema you have to make it a common schema same data type using data flow activity okay so i will directly jump into data uh, source option i will use a csv sorry csv is a blob location right uh, blob location Okay, in blog production, I have to point it out uh, which look which link services I have using same link services and file location you can put uh, like input right of file merge. We have a file merge location so we can point it out and uh, go inside there. I'll give you the tricky part here uh, because this is not a big task but interview ask and if you're not done sometimes you get confused so you will have to be clear what going to be answered so please thought about that first make yourself on a structure where your mind and represent yourself so i have pointed to my directory right in file merge i don't import the data i just put okay here that's quite simple but in the file path as i need to read all the files you, you have to do something called wild card file path and you have to put a star star means you will read all the files okay looking for the old file uh, just hold on so please keep in mind where you should put a star uh, on the wild call because you want to read all the files so here uh, this is a uh, only thing we have to capture but we have to do operation on sync so sync what we have to do we have to point the blob location same and because it is the same right what we are we have to dump in different location and we have to use same link, link location and we have to point the output okay that's part is clear right so from where we taking the file we taking file from the merge file and where we going to create the file into output location and same way i don't want to define the structure here i just do none and put okay okay and uh, there is one more setting you can see uh, you have to define the file name okay so let me give the file name as uh, combine file combine employee file and combine emp and uh, that's it from here if you have a different parameter like i want to display it with a comma or space or tap you can do that okay that, that's not an issue you can do, use this, this properties now uh, let me go back now uh, you can see the copy behavior that's the main property you have to answer in the in front of interviewer so you have to use a merge file okay much file you understand so much file what it will do it will consolidate your file into one okay let me try to debug if i work fine let me see if any error comes up so how you answer it uh, to combining the file we have to use a property majorly in sync operation sync operation you have to use a copy a merge files at, uh, in the copy behavior so much file activity what it will do it will copy all three file into one so once his output comes up i i'll give you the brief that means how many files we have read how file being asked so this is my input this is my output okay so input i have read three files but output i have written one file i have read 30 rows is same here so there is no issues a peak connection we have pointed three different files but here i am pointing into one right so this is my whole detail so let me cross verify into our output folder so this is quite simple but you have to be patience how to be answers so let me see do we have all the data 101 102 you can see i have data okay you understood so this is my uh, one way of doing that so i hope you able to answer this question this is a quite simple scenario where you have to represent yourself and please be confident will while giving the answers so that will give you the way of answering the azure data factory question answers so if you new the channel please hit the bell icon uh, and you can subscribe my channel for uh, power bi azure data factory or sql server interview question being asked okay the, i am creating a video for real time scenario being asked for uh, those question being asked at my site from the linkedin connections 
so i'm covering which is which is required if you face some issues on answering the question on adf site power bi you can just ping me back on the comment box i try to answer on those scenarios thank you for watching